Hi everyone, I'm Hannah. Welcome to my allotment outside Oxford, UK. As a reference, we have temperate oceanic climate here with mild winters and cool summers. And my last frost date is mid-May. Yes, so I multi-sow my peas and I do it in March for a few reasons. So, peas are hardier than people think. They might look all gentle and sensitive but they can actually withstand some ground frost if you keep fleas over them in the beginning of their growing season when they're grown out so these will be sown now and planted out sometime in april peas prefer a cooler wetter spring than a dry hot one and for the same reasons they don't pref they don't tend to like growing in summer so they don't want hot and humid they want cool and humid right so hot and humid towards the end of the season the same kind of blight weather tend to give mildew growing tend to give peas mildew there are uh, i've heard terrain a variety that's resistant to mildew and i am tempted to try growing that for a crop later in the year but and that's a big but I suffered quite badly with pea moth, where it's a moth that comes and um, lays their eggs inside the pea pod and then the, the uh, caterpillars hatch and then they gorge on your peas. It wasn't so bad, like I, I, I did manage to get a quite a good harvest, but if I'd sown later, more of the harvest would have been affected. So it's really is a timing issue for me. There is a third issue as well uh, that can affect peas specifically early in the season which is the pea weevil and it basically eats around the leaf and creates like a scalloped edge on the pea leaf so what you don't want to do is get your timings so that the weevils are active when your peas are small and um, not so robust so you want that action to happen it will happen but you want that action to happen when they are larger more substantial and more robust and can withstand that sort of damage they'll grow through it right because they become so vigorous and it's not a problem but if they're small enough a, a weevil attack can be quite detrimental to your crop so for peas earlier is usually better if you sow under cover direct sowing you know mice eating the seed uh, being too cool too damp to germinate bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Direct sowing is not a great use. Uh, it does not mean an earlier crop in my opinion. With peas it's better to sow in modules and the most efficient way to do that is to multi-sow. So that would be three peas per module and then you plant them out as a clump. You might want to thin it down to two but I had good success just planting out them in threes and planting them out at 10 centimeter intervals really close in a row and that created like a wall of peas and by getting that timing right you circumnavigate all those issues that people have growing peas but enough talking let's get sewing though i might have already sewn them all while you were listening to me chat <laughs> That's quite a lot to do, isn't it? So, I don't know if you watched my What I'm Sewing in March video, but these are the ones I'm growing. Hearst Green Shaft, Alderman Tall Pea, Oregon Sugar Pod, which is a Munch 2, and all these three I saved my own seeds. So, saving seeds from peas is really simple. It's um, they don't tend to cross pollinate so you don't have to be so careful like you do with winter squash or something like that but I also have three more varieties and I did spot some more that I would like to grow but I haven't been able to get the seeds yet so I'm gonna sow the ones I have which are plenty so one is the sugar magnolia snap pea which is a purple podded pea and um, yeah I mean, they're they're really hyped, aren't they? And they look so pretty when you photograph them. But I want to know if they're actually nice to eat. And then the golden sweet yellow podded munch too. So at least that one should be easy to pick. That's the same with the purple one, of course. At least you won't miss them. And then rosa crone, which is a semi-dwarf pea, 
but it has um, red pink flowers so yeah I'm pretty excited about that one too it's um, four to five foot tall so it's semi dwarf I'm gonna use these modules I bought these off Amazon I do not recommend buying them though I see everyone having them there's a real issue with finding good quality modules so these are inserts and they are really really flimsy I'm still using them though they are starting to break apart but if I'm careful enough I should be able to get at least one more year out of them they might look small for peas but don't worry we'll be planting them out before they run out of nutrients in these thank you very much for watching if you're new here consider subscribing it all really helps if you want to know more what I get up to on a weekly basis, I'm running a vlog project this year where every Friday I upload a weekly vlog just detailing what I've been doing on my allotment that week. So check them out.